four. I come against that in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let God arise and the enemy scatter from your life in Jesus name. Marco said to the condemnable Shende, when is not the enemy putting you to say, oh, oh, can I do this? Um, you know, I'm going to make mistake. Never you. Listen to me. Whenever you have been called on to do anything, don't let the enemy. Do not let the enemy tell you that you cannot do it or you're going to make mistake. If you speak these things, that's what will happen. Yes. You understand? You are more than a conqueror in the Lord Jesus Christ. You are more than a conqueror. I receive it. Thank you. And if you have overcome so many things, you will overcome whatever God wants for you to do. You will overcome. And the gates of hell shall not prevail in Jesus' name. Marco said to the condomable Shende, Robo Kotoria Basanda, Robo Kondo de Bokonde. What I see in the realm of the spirit and want to let you know also, do not let the enemy believe that you are going to be stuck and stay where you are all the day long without a husband in your life. Amen. Amen. Don't 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 sit down and pine over these things. Don't. Mine muted. said to the candle shende. Robo Kotoria Mama Shukuri Bebe Kende. Mama Sheke Rebe Kekura Basata Reba Koturiya Kande. I was muted. You just have to give me a few minutes when you hear I, I, pause, I pause. Amen. Marco said to the condonable Shende. But what I want for you to get and understand is that the enemy is just after you because if he see that you, you find out your hope of your calling and you want, you're so excited to operate in it. But the enemy don't want that for you. Okay. Enemy don't want that for you. And even, even others that you, you, to, you told it to, they're not happy for you. They can't see where you are a teacher to teach the word of God. True Holy Ghost. They can't see it. Because they just know crystal they know crystal and they know crystal and growing up is crystal and coming in the midst is crystal but when god give you a name that is above all receive it. I receive it. when god give you a name that is above all name many don't like it many get jealous yeah. you have to understand it is a jealousy rabba kotoria baba kende Robo Kondoro Bo Sataria Makundai Ribia Katuria Maseke Robo Kondo Mama Shende Poor righteous God I wouldn't mind I pray that the day will come when the Lord Jesus Christ can have me to have churches in so many different places where I can able to tap in with God's people. And I know it will happen in Jesus' name. And the gates of hell shall not prevail. Marco said to the condonable Shende. Robo Kotoria Basanda. It has not been easy with you. Where my God Almighty. The enemy want to have you stuck in your bad habit. It is a fight. Yeah. Are you there? Yes, Apostle, I am here. It is a fight. It is a fight where you are warring against the plan of the enemy where that is concerned. Oh, glory to God. Yes, thank you, Lord. Um, it is a war. It is a war going on in you. 
But you have to make up your mind today because when I pray today, make sure you get, you receive. You see what happened? The reason why you haven't overcome that situation is because, listen to this, is because when you, my God Almighty, did decided to you know do what you have to do on this line and when the enemy start to have you look and things to say oh this must be me this part, it seems like i'm this what the craziness is that anybody disturb this line i'm going to mute them out Marco said to the candle about Shende. What I was saying is that right at that moment you were guessing up there with God to receive and everything. But after the enemy put whatever he put in your spirit, it's like you take on to certain spirit to get upset about things and worry about things and start to murmur to yourself about things and so forth. So right there. Whatever God was about to do in prayer, he could not able to do it because there were spirit that stand in the way. So you in yourself said, you know, whenever this, whenever I get rid of this smoking or whenever I get rid of whatever, then you know, that will, that it will happen. But right now I'm not fussing myself about anything. Yeah. So you see, that is the reason why you did not able to get that deliverance right away. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar and we fight him with nothing else but with the fire of the Lord Jesus Christ. We fight him and bring him down powerless in Jesus' name. The gates of hell shall not prevail in Jesus' name. Robo Kotoria Basanda. The Holy Ghost said, I hear the Holy Spirit said, you need to take heed to your exercise. Don't give up on that. Do not give up on your exercise because once you wanted to do it and you know, trying even to, even if you have to go on YouTube and put on whatever and do a little this and a little that and don't give up on your exercising. Amen. I it. Don't, don't give up on it. And whatever, whatever is fighting your body, whatever sweet, whatever things is fighting your body, just know that God is in the midst and he will help you. Thank you. Marco said to the candle about Shende. Robo Kotoria Mama Sukuri Bikeke Rebe Sete. Robo Sondorobo Sata Mama Kunda. It can be a challenge with yours, you and your son. But just trust God and know that God is the God that will make things much better for you and him. Amen. Mama Shoke. Marco Satarabakende. Mama Shonde. You see, yeah. let me say this to you. Even though your son is in the situation that he's in, what you have to get in your spirit is that it's, it's probably too late, or maybe, you know, as the saying says, it's not too late for a show of rain, and it's not too late for God to step in. But you have to. You know, you love him and all that and he's your one son and so forth. But just get strict at him with certain things. Amen. I receive it. Because I can see where he have a little spirit of anger there. When he don't get things his way, he can get mad. Yes. He can get out of control. So you have to realize that you are the mother. And in spite of his... Of the situation, I'm not gonna say it is in spite of the situation that is not of God. You have to stand up and get that discipline take care of. Amen. You have to. You have to. 
Yes, you are a single mother and you're going through and name it and what of you, but God is in the midst for you and for every single mother. Thank you, I receive. Thank you. Marco Setri Kandorabo Robo Kotoria Baba Sukuri Bekin Dedi De Seteli Lisa. Continue to pray for your family mind. Their mind need their mind need the wisdom of God. Their mind need the wisdom and the knowledge and the understanding of God. Because even what you're doing, if you say it to them, they don't understand and they can't see in which way a line can be a church. Marco said to the condo, What I notice is that the enemy will have a way of having your spirit down. And I'm, I have to break that in Jesus' name. That need to be broken in the name of Jesus Christ today. It has to be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. The gates of hell shall not prevail over your life. Sometimes you felt as if you have no one. Sometimes you felt very down. Sometimes I can hear in the realm of the spirit where you would be, where you are. You'll say, oh, I wish if I could just have a, have a little talk with apostle. I wish if I could just, you know, I could hear these things in the spirit. Be not dismayed, whatever been tied, God will take care of you. Amen. Thank you. In the mighty precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Robo Kotoria Mama Kunde. Mashoko Ribi Sataria Kandai. Just know that God is a restorer. He will restore for you. Amen. I receive it. Mama Shende. Amen. I hear you saying in the realm of the spirit. Oh, I should have just have this. I would do this for the ministry. I would do that for the ministry. I would just do so much. But just your heart alone. God will bless you for that. Amen. Lord, thank you. I receive that. Lord. Amen. Marco says, why is your spirit down even right now? Apostle, I'm actually not down right now. I am just really in tune with you, listening to you cleanly. Yes, but I what I'm, listen to me, hold on, hold on, hold on. What I'm talking about is not a sadness. It's, okay. but it's not, it's, I'm not getting that excitement, excited yeah. spirit from you. So can I speak what that is from Apostle? Pardon me, you will able to speak. You, I, will let, I will let you speak. Don't let's let me flow a little. You will able to speak. Amen. Marco said to the Kandorobo Shende. Robo Kotoria Mama Shoko. Mama, I understand it's the system and so forth and you don't want to shout and name it and so forth. That's why I told you all, if you have your phone over that corner and you're over this side, you can shout. Only when your phone is right near you, you can't able to shout. If you notice, Evangelist is able to shout because she's not where the phone is. The phone in the living room section and she go all the way down to the kitchen, down to the back there and open up her, her, her big mouth and shout. That's why she don't disrupt the, the phone system. Marco Seteri Kandorobo Shandai. Rebebe Kotoria Marco Sende Rika Sata Rebe Kende. Mama Shandai. In the midst of your, I don't, I don't know what your experience, but as I look in the, in your body, as I look in the body, are you experiencing shorter breath? Like some, like sometimes you feel as if you're breathing short. You can feel it at times. You get tired easily. 
Yes, I do get tired easily. I haven't taken notice to the breath because I just pass out in sleep. Marco said to the condolable Shende. Next time you don't give me so much explain, um, explanation, I don't need it. All right, sure. Amen. Marco said to the condo because I'm working on your body right now. I'm, 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 I'm taking a trip in your body right now. Marco said to the condo Shende. Do you intend to have burning of nose like your left nose with your, the left nostril will burn you more than the right nostril? Marco said to the condolable Shende, do you experience like a little bleeding at times? No, Apostle. Marco said to the condolable Shende, Robo Kotoria Basanda, Ribia Kotoria, Mama Sheke. Because the burning can cause bleeding if you don't understand. You get what I'm saying? Yes. Mama Shoko, Robo Sotoria Bakundo. He Baba Shandai. Robo Kotoria Basata Rebia Kandorobo Shende. You need exercise so that you don't have muscle contraction. Amen. Yes. Exercise. You need exercise. Rabbi Beketoria Basanda. Amen. I just pray where Minister Paulette is that. The good Lord will keep her covered under the mighty hands of the Lord Jesus Christ. And for her and her family to be covered in Jesus' name. Amen. Some people not able to come on the line because of their job. Things change where their job are concerned. Some people don't able to shout and take part because of their job. Their boss or whoever they're working with watching them like a hawk. Yes. So if they're even tuning, some of them have to be stealing, tuning and just listening. I feel it for you all, y'all. Yeah? Yes, yes, yes. Marco said, Konda Rabasi Kalobo Sheki. And there's nothing worse like when you have to have restriction where God is concerned. They want to chat with you and want to find out your business and they want to talk this with you and they want to talk that with you. But when it come on to God, they don't want you to say thing, much things about the, around them where God is concerned. Fire, fire, fire against that. Fire, fire. The fire of the Lord Jesus Christ consume that in Jesus' name. Marco said to the Kandorobo Shende, Robo Kotoria Basanda, Ribia Kunde, Mama Kondo, Robo Kotoria Basata. As I take a trip, my God Almighty, in your body, Mama Shokori Basanda. And around your heart, around your heart is a little fatty. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. That need to be, those fat need to be melted with the fire of the Lord Jesus Christ. You have to watch what you're eating and watch how late you are eating. Yes. Watch what you're eating and watch how late you're eating. And when you eat, when you eat in the night, make sure you sit up. Don't just lie down like that. Amen. And try not to take too much su sweet at night. Don't take much sweet at night. I receive it. If you feel like you want to drink some juice, drink water in Jesus' name. Say in the name of Jesus Christ. Water shall fill the gap of this sweet. It goes to everyone on this line right now. Water shall fill the gap of sweetness in Jesus' name. And if you have to munch on things, don't munch late on sweetness. 
Because what it does, it clogs up your body, clog up your bloodstream. It causes your body to be lazy. When you enter in the realm of the spirit, demon have control over your spirit, man. Yes. Amen. You go to sleep, you can't able to remember your sweet sleep. Because your bloodline clog up and you're not, the spirit man get lazy. Lazy and can't able to conquer over demons. Yes. That's what the sweetness does to the body. Sweetness and all them things. You know, it wasn't for human beings to have sweet, sweet. You know, we can live without it. Amen. It is the plan of the enemy. Yes, God. It is the plan of the enemy. Marco said to the candle about Shende. Robo Kotoria Mama Kunde. I hear the Lord God Almighty said, He shall wipe away all tears from your eyes. Amen. Amen. I receive it. Sometimes your eyes don't cry, but your heart will cry. Amen. Yes, your eyes might not cry, but your heart can cry when you look back and see how your life is and you want to move on and you want to see things happen for you. You want to see you get married. You want to see name it and what have you. Your, 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 your heart can cry. Tears. Marco said, Kandelboshende, you might be saying, Oh, I'm not able to be in the sanctuary for somebody to see me and so forth. Oh, can I just be home and if I go on the road, I don't meet anybody. Da, da, da. Don't look. Don't look to the left nor to the right. Look straight to God. Amen. Look straight to God. And I don't know what was said to you. I don't know what was said said to you with the last relationship. If you notice of any word, you might not even hear it. But whatever word has been passed over your life that you will not get a good man, you will not marry, you will not this, you will not that. It might not say in the ear now what have you. But I break it in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I receive it. <coughs> Over everyone life I break that word for whoever has spoken such a thing. Over everyone life I break it in the name of Jesus Christ. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Marco Seturi Kandorobushende. Robo Kotoria Mama Kunde. He Baba Bashondo. Robo Kotoria Baba Suku. Mia ma kondolo bo seteria ma ma konda. You need a lot of water in your body. You need water. You need water. I need water. You need water in your body. Because where your bowels is concerned, your bowel is not that soft majority of the time. It's like it's kind of odd coming out. Speak the truth, Holy Ghost. Marco said to Ricardo de Bushende, so you need water in your body. I receive it right now in Jesus' name. Marco said to Ricardo de Bushende. Rabba Kotoria, Mama Shoko, Momo Konde, Bebe Sete. Robo Kotoria Basanda. I Baba Shende. Marco Sende. I pray. I pray over your two feet. Glory. Thank you. Hallelujah. I pray over your two feet in Jesus' name. And the tightness, the tightness of your ankle down to your ankle. I pray over it in Jesus' name. I pray over the bottom of your feet in Jesus' name. Oh, I receive it in Jesus' name. Marco said to the candle of Shende. It's like I'm, so, I'm seeing you in the realm of the spirit. I don't know if that's how you do it. But what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit is like when you're walking, you are... You know, like somebody walking and... Listen to this. You know, like when somebody walking and... 
their body sleepy and they're walking kind of draggy? Yes. That's how I see you in the realm of the spirit. With your feet. With your feet. You're too young for that. You are too young for that. You are too young for that. Marco said to the candle the bush and I come against that in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not have foot problem at a young age. I break that generation. I'll Rebiasha! I break it in the name of Jesus Christ. I break that generational curse. I break it from off your mother. I break it from off your father. I break it for the, from off them in Jesus' name. Everyone, and it will not reach your son. It will not, my God Almighty, come and rest on you. And it will not reach your son in Jesus' name. I, I break it in Jesus' name. Because I see a foot problem in the family and it must be broken. This generational curse must be broken. Stop right there in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. In the Amen. mighty name of Jesus Christ. Marco Seturi Kandorobo Shende. Robo Kotoria Mama Kunde Rebebe Setoria Basata. And listen to this. You're a very pretty woman. Don't throw yourself down. Do not throw yourself down. You are a very pretty woman. You are not ugly. You might put on a little weight, but you are not ugly. You understand what I'm saying to you? Marco said to the candle, let me unmute, let me unmute. Marco said to the candle, Conference unmuted. Marco said to the candle about Shende, I rise up to say you might put on a little weight, but you are not ugly. You are not. Amen. Don't let the enemy tell you that. Don't let the enemy, oh, I'm, or, or you know, I, I'm, I'm this and I'm that and. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The enemy would have you, I'm, I, you know, I can't be bothered and, oh, please, oh. No, you don't need that. You're a pretty woman. Just exercise. Get yourself right. Do what the Holy Ghost said. Stop eating sweet, sweet, sweet late at night. And I'm going to pray against it so that God will cut your appetite from these sweets. Amen. I receive it. And don't take up gum. You need to... Gum, chewing gum, chewing gum is not good. It is not good. No gum. Amen. It is not good in Jesus' name. Mess up your, 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 your stomach and have you to have fraught. Fraught, you find when you burp, you're burping fraught. That's what it does. Yeah. It is not good in Jesus' name. Let me pray for you. <clears throat> for you, I am praying. For you, I am praying. For you, I am praying. I am praying for you. Oh, for you. Go ahead, evangelist. Marcos.
Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Rebe Kotoria Bashanda. I come against my God Almighty, every plan of the enemy. Can you hear me? I come against every plan of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I bind, I cramp, I paralyze forces of darkness, every spirit, everything that is not of God. I take authority over your body in the name of Jesus Christ. And I bring down every plan of Satan in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I ask that God will arise and the enemy of your soul will scatter back to the pit of hell in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Rebebe Kotori. Babakunda, Robo Kotoria Babakunde, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I bring down my God Almighty every voice is that the enemy will want to speak in the midst to have you to repeat what he is saying about your life, about your my God Almighty, hallelujah, calling upon your life, about my God Almighty, the stand that you have taken for this empowerment line. I break it in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against every plot that the enemy is plotting against you. Everything that the enemy wants to bring in the midst that is not of God. I break it in the name of Jesus Christ. I bring it down powerless. I shatter it. I scatter it. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let God arise and the enemy scatter from your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I come against my God Almighty. Hallelujah. That midst of smoking in the name of Jesus Christ. I command the fire of God to consume out of your body. Right now, right now I break it. Right now I call on fire to consume it. Holy Ghost fire to consume it in the name of Jesus Christ, blood of Jesus Christ. Blood of Jesus Christ. Blood of Jesus Christ take over right now. The blood of Jesus Christ take over right now. Whatever the enemy is doing to your body must be cramped and paralyzed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I bind it. I bind it. I bind it. I bind it. I bind it up in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I bring it down powerless in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I scatter. I shatter forces of darkness. I bring down every spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. I free you right now from all captivity. I command you to come out of the sepulchre of what the enemy want to have you in. You must come out. Just as all Jesus Christ went in the midst and he saw my God Almighty in the book of Luke. Where my God Almighty, he saw when my God Almighty the woman were burying her son and he my God Almighty, hallelujah come in the midst and speak over the dead and command my God Almighty for that dead to arise. I command whatever in your life that is not of God. Ribia to arise in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever sepulchre my God Almighty lock in just as all the Lord God Almighty went to the grave of my God Almighty Lazarus and called Lazarus to come forth. I command you to come forth in Jesus name. Come out of what the enemy want to have you in. In the name of Jesus Christ. I break every barriers. I break it down right now in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I bind up that demon of smoking. I come against it. I bind it. I cramp it. I paralyze it. I send fire on it. Fire, fire, fire to consume it. I pray over that appetite that want my God Almighty it. To my God Almighty be this and I cramp and paralyze. I break it. I command. Whenever my God Almighty you take up anything to smoke my God Almighty whenever you take up a cigarette to smoke it that your stomach will turn from it because I know it's a stronghold that the enemy has put upon your life and whoever else on this line that is going through that I break it in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ I come against my God Almighty not just smoking but drinking with anyone that is on this line that find themselves have to take my God Almighty something strong to drink or my God Almighty to smoke cigarette I break it right now with fire fire from an eye in the name name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I break it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I bind, cramp, and I paralyze in the 
mighty name of Jesus Christ, I free you from all captivity. I take authority over your body and I command the fire of God to consume everything in the midst, your feet, inside, outside, wherever, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Over a day at time, I break it, I bind it, I cramp, I paralyze every plan of Satan in the name of Jesus Christ and I free you woman of God from every my God almighty things that want to bring you into oppression I break it in the name of Jesus Christ and I free you right now I free you all right now be free 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 in Jesus name from all captivity and I command fire blood and water to go in and take charge angel of the living God take control over your daughter over your sons over all your children in Jesus holy and precious name healing Jesus take over healing Jesus take over miracle working God take over right now in Jesus name I break that appetite of smoking and drinking from everyone from my God Almighty everyone that receive right at this moment in Jesus name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Marco Seturi Kandolo Boshende Robo Kotoria Baba Kunda Ribia Katoria Mama Kunde Robo Kotoria Mama Shata Mama Shekeri Kandel Be Kandel Be Kandel Kandel Basata In the name of Jesus Christ let God arise and the enemy scatter in Jesus name In the mighty name of Jesus Christ In the mighty name of Jesus Christ In the mighty precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ let God arise let God arise and the enemy scatter in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory be to God, hallelujah. hallelujah. Glory be to God, hallelujah. <coughs> Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Teacher Janelle, can you do it? Yes. Can you manage it? Glory be to God, hallelujah. Um, teacher Crystal, Teacher Janelle is going to interview you in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory to God, Teacher Janelle. I don't know about you, but I feel so uplifted after that prayer. Yes. Me too. Glory be to God. I rejoice. Hallelujah. All right, uh, Teacher Crystal, the Holy Spirit came forward and said that sometimes you question being on the line if it's where you need to be. And if that is true, can you just elaborate on those feelings for us? Yes, as I give glory to God and honor the Holy Spirit and the Apostle, I am saying yes, that that is true. That is so very true. That is at the forefront of some of the concerns that the Lord knows that I have, things that are in my heart, just one of them that he pulled accurately, and it's very important. Amen. Yes. Amen. I'm constantly, I, I'm, I'm excited about even like Minister, uh, Minister Lance said, how we're a family, the people that gather, we've never seen each other, but I feel a connection. I am so overjoyed at such a, a, a way to glorify God and to be brought together and to be able to worship and then to be questioning my involvement with it. I was very perplexed. The Lord knows the Holy Spirit spoke. Amen. Yes. We know yes. that the enemy is the master of confusion. Amen. 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 That's what he is. Yeah. Yes. Because she mentioned that God has a, a plan for you in the sanctuary. Um, yeah. if this one or, or someplace else, he has a mighty plan for your life. Do you agree with that? Amen. Amen. Holy Spirit, and as I speak and testify, 
his children in his heart. He knows everything before we even do. And this very thing is is so true. I question, Lord, my service to you, my purpose. I know you said you created every man, every woman to worship you. you that's what you created us to do. But then to be honored that you call me to do more. Your word says you separated me, you appointed me, you anointed me. So I'm not doing this because of Crystal. It, it is, it's God. And, and yes, the Holy Spirit is, is speaking the truth directly to me for his purposes. Yes, Teacher Janelle. Yes, Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit also touched on depression. You'll be depressed and worry a lot sometimes. Do you want to talk about that? Yes, and and to to go forward and to not cut or quench the Holy Spirit and and Him being able. It says our testimony could do so much for another person. Like I'm rejoicing because I've heard from the Lord through the apostle. She's 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 ministered to me. He's ministered through her to me. But now as I testify to ears that are hearing, as far as my purpose and him calling me and me feeling low and depressed it, you know it goes back to to, to what you, what was said mother that the enemy is just he's working on me in such a way to confuse me and and i i'm really really very very thankful and grateful that he's he's reminding me hey i love you i know these things i'm pulling them out so wherever you are in me stay there come up to where you should be. Do not keep listening to the old dragon playing games with your mind. And he's only doing it to shut me down. Where where Holy Ghost is moving on me right now. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. We won't quench you. That that my heart is crying. You know, I, I've moved to speaking the way the Holy Spirit is moving through me because he was true and accurate. These weren't just words that as we go back and I testify, my heart cries out. My, my eyes are crying because of these very things. Lord, I love you. You love me. You called me. I want to do these things, but I'm constantly wrestling with Am I really supposed to be here? Now that he's spoken, and I know this is the place for me, you know, I, I, I continue, I continue to follow, I, I continue to desire, and, and I'm thankful that as I speak and say, yes, I'm depressed, I have depression, I rebuke it as often as I can, and the word of God says, when you are heavy, you know, you have to put on some praise, I will do whatever I can, I, whatever. I can that's of him in that low moment. I'm not always successful, but I have, I mean, immediately. I don't get immediate. Amen. I don't want it that to go out. I change that, rebuke that. I am successful. As I continue to pursue him, I'm successful because it might be taking that, oh, you depressed, you you just shake it off. You know, there's, there's a difference. You're shaking it off in your mind, but that thing is still heavy on your spirit and your heart. So then I shook it out my mind. I have to do things with my body, with my lips. That's usually reading my word. That's usually getting on my face and praying for somebody else or even doing some kind of service. Bless God, uh, Teacher Janelle. Amen. 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 All right. We also Amen. came for about you eating late at night and eating sweet and try to avoid that and to drink water because then demon gets attached to you that way. So you wonder why you have all that confusion coming in. Um, so you wanna, what do you want to say regarding that issue? Holy Ghost. Regarding that, I want to give up a high praise and hallelujah. Thank you, God, as I testify and say, so true. Um, you know, we're not even at the point where, again, the Holy Spirit is moving. Um, man is not in control of this, even though our lips are speaking and, and it's Crystal's body, you know, talking to you. The Holy Spirit speaking, you know, as he revealed that the trip that the apostle took in my body, which we're not even at yet, the Lord has been... I and 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 my you know my using the bathroom has been difficult for a while. 
and I know to drink water, but there was something that came over that I just got, again, going back to being depressed and being low, you know what I'm saying? Not eating properly, I wasn't eating at all. But when I chose to eat or drink, it was the sugariest juice I could find, and it was stuff like donuts and Pop-Tarts and things like that. No real food. I had to think about it and think of the last time I had a vegetable. This was just the other day. Amen. And and this was, I believe, Tuesday. Amen. I, I was like, my body was so, it, it really was um, in a drought, in a state of drought. I, I couldn't tell. My mouth wasn't parched, but somewhere in the body there was a parchment. So I have been pouring cups of water, glory be to God, and just leaving them around the house. Amen. I have just been leaving them around the house to drink and consume. I find water in a, a cup on my dresser. Two days it's been sitting there. I'll just pick it up and drink it. Whatever way I can consume the water, I receive it. I receive it. I receive it, teacher. Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. And amen. Because the enemy he attacks us in subtle ways. Ooh, I thought of us struggle with that eating, sleep, and not nice water issue. And it's very important. So, very thank important. you. Thank you. Very important. And I hear the Holy Spirit, hallelujah, not to cut you as to, to keep moving in the realm that the Holy Spirit is moving. As he was in the body and he spoke about the importance of water and my habits as I testified, yes, eating donuts and Pop-Tarts in the middle of the night, even if it's before 12 o'clock, it's way past the sufficient time for dinner, even if I'm snacking, as, as the Holy Spirit said through the apostle. What is so important? and people as you listen that is true what she said what the holy spirit said through her again we take nothing from the apostle and give all the glory to god when she spoke and said what she sees and what she knows when i go to sleep like that i have been wrestling on my bed and i tell you that i have been my dreams when she said that you can't remember the dream and its totalness you know what i mean you just remember maybe little parts of it and it, you'll stay confused you know maybe trying to put it together but truly I know that when that sugar is going through me, now that I have been told, I know. I don't want people to think, oh, I didn't know this before. When the Holy Spirit said that we eat the sugar and it goes through the blood and it hinders us and makes us more susceptible to demons, these are the words that are coming out now, that makes us more susceptible to a demon, um, you know, attracting them is what I'm saying. That's true. When And something just just went down in my spirit as far as for it to not be so strange and not high-minded. The Lord said, I will confound those wise people with simple things. Jesus' blood was shed for us. If we're filling it with sugar and we're in the state of sleep when his father's watching over us, I could only imagine and, 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 and just be grateful and rejoice that that's just how much he loves us that he would tell you even the sugar in your blood at night affects the spirit and, and it affects that, that, that realm. It affects it. I so receive instruction, um, you know, as it pertains to these things that we're doing. And, and I just want to testify that that's true. That's true. Hallelujah, that's true. I want the blood to cover me, th flow through me. I want the presence of the Lord, so therefore I will keep my body, as he says, a temple and a sacrifice. And that only brings me to say, Lord, I I'm so grateful because this smoking, Holy Ghost, let me witness. I receive and understand what no instruction is what I receive it clearly not to be feeling depressed of why did not get this because I'm kind of going back the Lord said clearly you delay doesn't mean denied but you clearly delayed what you were in line to receive because you was right there but you let the who persuade you even if it was your flesh which is not of me I was getting sick with these cigarettes, and then don't you know, instead of 
doing what would have pleased God and given them up, I found myself fighting to not be sick, to stay smoking, tell the truth. Somehow or another, I, I was more wrapped up in, even if I was lighting them and putting them out and wasting them, I just was going to not be sick because I was going to keep smoking. Forgive me, Lord. So I thank him that he's given me another chance. He's the God of more than second chances. You know what I mean? Cleanliness and holiness. You know, he says be, be faithful over a few things, but that is no excuse not to be faithful over the thing that he's telling you to do. That's like, oh, I didn't do this, Father, but I did this. That doesn't please him so. So I don't want to be um, guilty of that anymore. And the thank you, Holy Spirit, and the freedom with the prayer. Hallelujah. Teacher Janelle. Hallelujah. Man, the Holy Spirit also spoke about your feet and your ankles. And also, short, you get tired easily sometimes and about your nose itching and burning. you want to speak on yes. that? Yes. I thank the Holy Spirit, and, and and as He showed these things, I I say with the nose, the nostril, I say that is a um, that is the truth, and it is a a side effect or a, a residual effect. It's an effect of a past thing, and it does come upon me sometimes. Amen. And I don't want to reveal many things. The Holy Spirit will give that up. So that is true. So I think, what not what I think, the Lord is above what I can ever think or imagine. As the Holy Spirit was ministering that to me, there was something that was said as I was taking notes where she spoke of, do not let the enemy keep making me believe things and speak things um, of my past or the last things I was writing so fast, but that is coming to me because that would pertain again to, oh, you want to constantly, I'm delivered from those things. I give God glory for that. So I, I do not, and I will continue to walk and rebuke that thing. So that was true. And as far as my feet, I have been walking at my age where I'm too young for that, as the Holy Spirit said, I walk as if, I should be using a walker. Glory be to God. And I have a walker. And I was healed. And I walk in my healing in spite of the, the affliction or the, the side effects that might still be visible or manifest themselves. I walk in my healing. But this thing lately with my two feet, and, and the bottoms of my feet, I've been walking so tender, like, if I don't step right, I will fall. I will fall. And and people can see it. I think they look at me like I wrote down, like I'm drunk. Amen. So the Holy Spirit was speaking all the way to my ankles, like, like, I'm, like I'm a, I don't know if I'm walking mechanical, like I'm, yes, Lord, like I'm not in control of my limbs that I'm I'm taking steps like a baby walking trembling yes that was true How are your ankles and feet feeling now that the prayer went out hallelujah as the prayer was going forth I walked the length of my house I stopped hallelujah and I did not claim anything else but the healing I got left foot right foot left foot right foot and I'm standing Hallelujah, barefooted, hallelujah. So I claim that that unsteady and not being stable in my footing is gone and rebuked and fire has been cast upon it in Jesus' name. So I am walking and standing as the prayer went forth, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Ooh, glory be to the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Give God some praise, people. Oh, glory. Oh, <laughs> hallelujah. To God, Jesus. Glory. Oh, glory hallelujah. to the one. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Oh. Holy Ghost. Oh. Teacher Janelle, hallelujah. I, I was taking notes oh. with you, and as you spoke on that, I want to go directly, hallelujah, into getting the prayer for the feet where she spoke of a generational curse. And the Holy Spirit, we don't claim anything, but there, that curse has been broken. Hallelujah. With me. And she said it, that it shall not pass to son. Amen. It is broken.
working with me. So whatever I am suffering from, and don't have to reveal because the Holy Ghost is just, just set fire to it, that it had come from the grandmother. And prior to those, I don't know, as many people don't have that relationship with extended family, you know, great-grandmothers and, and uncles and things. My grandmother directly, so the generational curse being broken in this family, and it will not pass to my son, I praise the Lord and I receive that and believe it. Hallelujah. Declare it and decree it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The also said, don't give up on your exercise. And God is in the midst and he will help you with your craving. How do you feel about that? I received that and not to be exhaustive in that because the Holy Spirit was true in everything he said. If it could have been one, two, three, four, five, six, we would have just ran it down that way. But in not doing my exercise for that thing that I didn't really give up on, but when not but yet when that depression and that doubt and that confusion and that idleness comes in, there's no exercise. There's no worship. There's no eating healthy. There's no right mind. There's no, you understand, that's just a hindered, a hindered place for me. So I received that since that depression has not been attached to me and that blockage has been removed. That exercise will go forth and I will continue to be the vessel that the Lord is raising up, raising up for his, his glory, for whatever he wants. Amen. On to the next thing, Holy Spirit, raising me up to continue to pray for my family. And as I testify and witness, I have a sister in another state and she is the middle sister. I am the youngest. She has been tapping in. She doesn't think I know. She doesn't say anything. But when she taps in, she'll call me on the phone. And I know she'll she'll text me and she'll say little things like, Chris, me and mom prayed today, or I read to mom today. Can you call me? She's really listening. The Lord is doing what he wills. And I've received that to continue to pray, pray for my family's mind. Because as the apostle, the Holy Spirit let the apostle hear, they, they like, what you calling? Uh, how is that a church? And and the word of God needs no explanation. I can just go to scripture and, and we can talk about it and, and, and we can still be connected with someone that has authority, has knowledge, has understanding. And 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 they look at me like but we and, and forgive me, like well we rather get it from you. Well, you you don't wanna do any work? You know, you cannot just get what I've worked for. It can't rub off on you. So I praise God that prayers are being answered for my family because my middle sister is now reaching out. Amen. 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 It also Amen. came forth that sometimes you feel like you have no one and sometimes you feel like, you know, you want to speak to the possible. Other times it would be like, you want to get a husband. What the crazy? I bind up that, no, that whoever is on the line with that I come against that in the name of Jesus Christ right now. Right now I come and paralyze that right now in Jesus name.
saints right near me. Amen. You know, um, there, and, and that has been an issue for me. That has been an issue. Holy Spirit, please move on me. Amen. That that loneliness is because I cannot fellowship unless I'm gathered on the glory to the dawn and the morning empowerment line. And people are calling me and asking me to pray because they just want to use God for a thing that I, I'm lonely. I, I was lonely. I know I have his presence, but when you say we gather together, that's the, that's the love that I, I'm grateful that I'm able to do when I come on the line with us. Our hearts lifted up, giving glory to God on one accord, one spirit. This is the time I look for because I don't have it. So without being connected to other believers, I sometimes feel lonely. Yes, that's true. Amen. That makes sense. Amen. The Holy Spirit also brought forth about your son and having some challenges with him mm -hmm. and gave you some directions concerning him. Yes, glory be to God. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for that also. That was so true. I wrote that down. She said that the apostle said and the Holy Spirit said through her that, you know, some people say it's never too late. It's never too late for God. But when, when man says it's too late, that I have to get strict on my son who sometimes acts out of control from not getting his way, that I must stand that he get discipline in Jesus' name. And that is so, and, and I've held fast to the scripture in Proverbs that says, train, train a child up in the way that they should go, so when they're older, they won't stray far from the path. And when I was not, uh, hallelujah, when I had not rededicated myself, when the Lord had not accepted me back into his presence, because this thing of, of us, you know, thinking we're going to God and we're going to, listen, he called me back at my lowest state, and he allowed me to walk and show my son, and, and I say, the place that we're at now, I also go back to, amen, the, the message that was given to another one of our mothers on the line, when it said, I received it, the, the leaf falls and it don't turn colors all the way, you gotta bend the tree, I, I, I ate that message, and since I've begun to do that, I've seen a different side of sun. I have not totally been able to exercise the discipline thing because of the out of control that might take place, but I received all that she said when she prayed even for her nephew Joshua. I've been looking for that prayer to come online because I received that, that the Lord would harden my heart because how can a mother cease to care for the child she bear? I cannot, but I cannot condone these things nor support them in Jesus' name. So I receive it. I accept what God has done in the midst. When son left out of here today, I told him today, fresh wind, fresh oil, fresh water, fresh anointing. He smiled and he left out of here and caught that bus. And we are in the day that the Lord has made. Amen. I am rejoicing and I'm glad in it. Amen. 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 The Lord also wanted to remind you that even though you put on a little weight, you are beautiful. Hallelujah. And I don't want to be hallelujah. Jesus. No, I more than that. Beautiful. Yes. Yes. Jesus. I have that written. I have that written. And as he spoke to the apostle about that and and to reveal some things, it's, it's kind of oxymoronish, you know, um, for, for the world, but not for the believer. Mm. You know what I mean? They, they just can't understand it. I had been suffering, the Holy Spirit knows, you know, not eating healthy. And not eating healthy to where I was, what some people suffer with obesity, whether it be weight or whatever. I was suffering where I lacked, as scriptures say, your bones are scarce. 
you, you're scarce, but if the word, it's not if, the word of God is true. It says, I will be meat and fat to your bones. So as I started reading and started worshiping, I began to gain weight, not just from my eating. For once I gained a little bit of weight, I was not content with the size. A little bit. That's the truth. I was, I, I began to have a complaining self. I really did. Oh, these pants don't fit no more. So here I hear today. Well, what did those pants do for you? What What about those pants that you have to be uh, dis disrupted or, or frustrated or disappointed that the, that the pants don't fit no more? Just simple things. And then I just, just, just at that moment surrendered. I took the pants off and was like, let me get another pair. It was that simple. How the enemy... Oh, Lucifer, the dragon, he plays with our mind. Look at that, people. Something simple as a pair of pants. I put them on today. Glory be to God this morning. And I looked in the mirror, and it just was a low self, a loathing. Something came in. I took those pants off so fast and put on another pair. Glory be to God. I thank him. I thank him that he will be health, strength, and fat to my bones. And weight is not, I am not concerned. He says, I am beautiful in Jesus' name. I thank him. Amen. 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 So, wrap this up, Teacher Crystal. The Holy Spirit said um, your spirit was down. It was sensing that your spirit was down. How are you feeling? Tell everyone how you're feeling now in your mind, body, spirit, and your soul. Right now, in my mind, I am feeling focused. In my body, I'm feeling relaxed, healthy, and strong. And in my spirit, I feel like I could conquer anything. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord. Thank you. Oh, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You see, you see, Mother Gina, I told you, I told you you could do it. Glory be to God. What a God. Mighty God. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We glorify him, we honor him, and we thank him for his goodness and his mercy, for his loving kindness towards us, my God, my Lord, my King. And I just want to speak this, my God Almighty, into my God, teach your crystal life unto your all life, my God Almighty. Isaiah 52, 1. Awake, awake, put on thy strength, O, o Zion. Put on thy beautiful garment, O Jerusalem, the holy city, for henceforth there shall no more come into thee the uncircumcised and the unclean. Look at the second verse. Shake off thyself from the dust. Arise and sit down, O Jerusalem. Loose thyself from the bands of thy neck, O captivity daughter of Zion. Receive in Jesus' name. Rebiasha! Marco said to the candle Boshende Robo Kotoria Basata Ribia Kando is my son, my God Almighty, hallelujah. Deacon Oshain is my son, dear, is my son, my God Almighty, Deacon Oshain, dear. All on people, hold back your voice, hold back your voices, is my son, Oshain, dear. I'm hearing and it's like I'm not hearing. Is he answering me? Yes, I'm here. Oh, bless the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Bless the name of the Lord. 
Bless the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Marco said it. That's one of my spiritual son people of God. When he all hear me said my son, I don't even see him as a spiritual son really, but I see him as, as if I birthed him out of me. I want you all to understand that. That's how I see this young man in the realm of the spirit where I am concerned. So I have to, my God Almighty, you know, so stay on top of him to pray for him. Marco said to the candle bush in there. Rabba Kotoria Basanda. I have seen in the realm of the spirit, my God Almighty, where you you are. You know, it's like I see you standing and you're doing a lot of thinking. You are doing a lot of thinking. True. You're doing a lot of thinking because I can hear your conversation saying, you know, you just want things to be better so that when apostle come down here I can do so much for apostle. I don't know why, but I hear this. Marco said to the candle bush and for a young man, my God Almighty, that have a future ahead of him to be thinking about apostle. I just want to bless him, people of God, because the word of God said, when you bless a prophet, you shall receive a prophet reward. And when you give a cup of water to my God Almighty, a prophet, you shall get, my God Almighty, a, a, a great reward. You know, when you believe in a real prophet, in a prophet of God, you shall you shall be prosperous and this is what I see with this young man that don't know me only my God Almighty hear me on the line or able to tap in on YouTube with his family whichever way they do it but I just rise up to say my God Almighty I just want for the Lord God Almighty to build such a edge of protection around him Amen. I just want for God to build such a protection around him my God Almighty and I pray, I pray for your son, my God Almighty, your son that you have gotten from God. That holy child, because you need to understand he's a holy child unto God, from God. And I just pray, my God Almighty, that he will not pick up generational curse from his mother's side of family. Amen. Marco said to the candle bush in there. Robo Kotoria Basanda. Your son is a little David. He's a little David. He is a little David. I don't know if you see that little warrior spirit in him. Amen. Marco, I want you to shout out and say, Yes, it's true, or I'll put it on the shelf. Okay. Marco said to the candle bush in there. Robo Kotoria Basanda. Does he like music? Yes. Marco said to the candle bush and I remember David did like music. David loved music. He still as an angel loved music. Marco said to the candle bush and Robo Kotoria Basanda. I pray against sickness from his little mind. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray against sickness from his little mind. Robo Kotoria Bashanda. The Lord has spoken to you sometime last year pertaining to a partner that he's going to bring in your life, that you're going to have in your life. What I want for you to do is just look to God. Look to God. Look to God. Don't, don't push and fuss to do it. Pray and ask the Lord, and as I pray and go along as well, I'll pray and ask the Lord God Almighty to help you to get yourself in line just like Solomon, when Solomon went to God and God said, what do you want me to do for you? And Solomon said, I pray for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding so that I can able to ma um, govern over your people. I pray for more wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in your life. Amen. Marco said to the candle bush in there. Robo Kotoria Mama Shondo. Robo Kote. I see that my God Almighty as I see in the room that you have a very loving kind heart. But I want for you to ask the Holy Spirit to lead you to some people. Not to just jump and do things but 
to let the Spirit of God lead you where people are concerned. And I know that for sure that you are like this or, you know, you will like go to do something and somebody would want to bless you and so forth and you will say to the person, no, 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 I'm okay, da, 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 da. Don't, I don't want you to keep doing that because that's where your blessing come from. So you're supposed to receive because you're a giver. I wonder if you understand what I'm saying. You are to receive because you are a giver. Marco said to the candle Boshende, when you can receive in your hands and you can say, you know, I take this but I really want to give it to whoever I want to do this for this person. Let the Lord lead you in that way. You do it in your in in whichever way you are to do it you don't tell a person to no i you know i, I don't want to let that person that because what you need to understand your hands open to receive you must receive and when you receive as the word of god said it's best to give than to receive you receive it but if you're ready to give it you let god lead you out to give it you get what i'm saying amen true you let God lead you out to do it because that's where your blessing come in when your hands can open up to, to, to give. You, you do that part. Amen? Amen. Marco said to the candle motion because that's how your blessing will come in. Marco said to the candle motion Ribia kotoria baba sondo Ribi keke kete lebe sotoli ya baba Raba kondo bobo sende and I come against every spirit of confusion that would want to confuse your mind when you are to do anything. For instance, you are going to do something and it's like your mind would be like, what if I could, should do this or I should go there or I should that. I pray that you will able to give the Lord whatever question. Pray to God and ask Him to lead you. That is the reason why I am praying for you to gain wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Marco said to the candle of Boshende, Robo Kotoria, Mama Kunde, Ribia Sanda, Mama Kunde. God did not make mistake, my God Almighty, when He bring you out into this world, because you are one of the few good men, good, good, you know, good children to a mother. You are one of them. Marco said to the candle of Boshende, Robo Kotoria Basa, Marco Sende. And there's so much that you want to do. You want to. I see where, you know, you want to do so much. And one of the things that I'm praying for, I don't know how you, how you do it or whatever. You, I'm not pacing you to be on the line or whatever, but you need to be in the midst where you can have the word of God flowing in your spirit as much as ever to lead you in the right pathway. Amen. So that the enemy will not come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Amen. Don't you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Yes, you don't want for the enemy to come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. You want to know that your spirit man able to be filled with the spirit of God. That's what you need. Amen. And for you not to miss out and not pray in, but to read your word and to pray. Where your spirit man can come alive. Because your spirit man need that. True. You understand me? You have to practice, you have to practice, just as how you, sp you feed the natural body, you have to feed the spiritual body. You have to. If it's even once a day, if it's even one time for the day, which is, you know, in the morning it's good. To get your spirit man going, you need it. You understand what I'm saying? You do need it. Robo Kotoria Basanda. Raba Kondoro Bo Seteria Kanduru Bo Satare Roko Seteria Kandala Bashike Robo Kondoro Bo Senderi Kata Mama Shende 
my son die. You don't need for nobody to be talking to you with any threatening word. You hear what I'm saying to you? Yes. You don't need for nobody to be talking to you with any form of threatening word. Like to even speak to you and to, and to put you down. Amen. You don't need that. You don't receive it. Do not receive it. If at any time it come near your dwelling, do not receive it. Amen. You understand what I'm talking about? Even if, even if it's your, your child's mother. You get what I'm saying to you? Yeah. You don't want nobody to come to you with any kind of words to put you down because you are more than what the word would come to you and say. Amen. You don't need that. Rebuke it in Jesus' name. The Bible said that we must rebuke the devil and he will flee. In Jesus' name. I, 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 I am praying and asking the Lord to build a strong protection around you so that your feet, so that your feet will only go where God want it to go. And not to be led, not your feet not to be led with no friends, no friends. Amen. You are a leader, not a follower. I receive. If you're in your house and you're not feeling up to go somewhere and you get a call by anyone and oh, remember so and so, let's go on, and you're not feeling up to it, just said, listen to me, call this a day. I don't I don't I'm not up to it. And don't let anybody force you. Amen. Because you being forced and go somewhere can be very destructive to your spirit. Amen. Not just your spirit, but can be destructive to your own, your, to your life. Amen. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Marco said to the candle, you are a leader. You must make the lead. No one must lead you into what you don't want to be in. Marco said to the candle Boshende. And you need to be in the midst of those that need God and want God. Not those that don't want God. Amen. That only can tell you, you know, they, if, you, if push come to show, they could only tell you about Sunday school that they used to go to, but they don't go to church. Because, you know, too much wicked people in church and too much this and too, you don't want people like those in your life. You need people in your life that, that will take you to the next level in God. Amen. I receive. Yes, you need people to take you to the next level in God. Not anyone to pull you back and have you, have you straying away from God. Amen. I pray that you and your sisters will be able to sit in the midst and do more prior fasting and reading the word and all that. For family to come Amen. together to have that gathering in Jesus' name. Amen. It needed because children live what they learn and the smaller ones them need to see these things going on. Mama Shonde, God is going to turn the wheel for you. I receive. I'm, I, I'm asking God to give you favor with those in high places. I receive. To give you favor with those in high places. In the name of Jesus Christ. Rabba Kotoria Mama Konde. 
robo kotoria baba sondo roko sotoria mama shonde mi baba shondai jesus jesus as the lord come back again me talking he said just to speak on this just another just one more time so that you can get it in your spirit do not let anybody take any form of disadvantage with your goodness amen i receive do not especially your very own type of people do not Amen. You hear me? Yes. People will act as if they like or love you, but they only want to what? Use you. Amen. When you said when you keep saying amen, amen, you, I know you're in agreement, but is it true? True, yes. That's what I want to hear. You said yes, it's true. Because it's what I'm seeing and getting from God I'm giving out. You don't want nobody to use you. Because when people use you, it's not a nice, it is not a nice feelings at all. People will use you and then when you need help, you cannot get it from them. Only one or two might look back to, to do it, but not everybody will do it. You get what I'm saying to you? You have experienced enough of people to learn by now. So true. Somebody can look at you and, oh, oh Shane, you know, I have something to do. I want you to come and help me. You know, I, 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 I'll, I'll fix you up, man. I'll take you. Listen to me. You are not into the I fix you up things and I'll take care of you. Whatever is on the inside of you, God give you it so that you can be better, better with it. True. Don't yeah. let nobody use you. Stop letting people use you. If because it is a spirit that I have to break from your life. Amen. You don't want when you get home and talking with your sisters or your mother, you have to be telling them, Boy, I thought I thought this man was going to give me, you know, something. Make your price. Even if your price come, price come down to a fifty dollar, make your price. Amen. But don't allow, don't allow a person to tell you, "I will fix you up. I will take care of you." They cannot do that to the real, re, to to somebody that they don't have. Know that they call on the phone and and have them to come and do something professional. So true. You don't need a see in the realm of the spirit. These things happen to you a lot of time. And it need to stop. Amen. You're getting out of your bed, rushing somewhere to help somebody. But when you get back home, you're not pleased with what they Ribi Asha! These things are, you call, you know, we call it disadvantage. These things are not right. Taking advantage. They're taking advantage. taking advantage. You don't want nobody to take advantage of what God put in you. Amen. You don't want it. And let, you know what I see also? Because you have been so good to that one, to, to, to that, I'm not, I'm not pointing at anybody, just speaking, you know. For instance, you've been good to Minister Gay. Then Minister Gay know of you, or her neighbor have a problem. Oh, I know a little young man, man. Just, just tell him that you will give him a little something. This is what I see people doing with you. Ribi Asha! So true, I receive it need to stop. I am pray. I'm going to pray and I'm going to cut it down to zero. Break it. You are nobody use and left 
whether it's a barrel, a cutlass, machete, shovel, spade, name it. You are not no use and left for nobody. Whatever God has placed on the inside of you is to make you better. Amen. People have no conscience when they want to use you. One of you understand what I'm saying? See, I wonder if you understand what I'm saying. Listen to me, I don't live with you and I'm not around you. Do I sit and talk anything with you? No. These are things that I'm seeing people doing with you and it must stop. You have to take a stand against that. If you don't take a stand against that, everybody gonna want to use, oh, he's kind, he's nice, he's this, he's that. It has happened in various places. This one want to pass you on, that one want to pass you on because you're a good boy, because you're kind. Because, no, it, no, it must stop in Jesus' name. It must stop in the name of Jesus Christ. No more using. No more. No more using. The person that want to use you, you want better as well as all they want better. So you don't want nobody to be using you. Amen. So true. And the worst kind of use I'm talking is when you do for somebody and they want to pass you on to somebody else as if you're just a little use chalk. It must stop. It must stop. You have a future plan. You have a child to live for. You have your family to care for. Amen. You have responsibility. And the gates of hell shall not prevail. Let me say something to you. You're supposed to know of this saying, one one cocoa full basket. Yes. Are you are you gonna stand by and let people fold their basket out of you and then when you look your basket have in nothing? Not anymore. Not anymore, it needs to stop. I see it happen very regular with you. Very regular. Yes, you are kind, but you are not stupid. You hear me? Yes, so true. You are kind, but you are not stupid. So don't let people see you as stupid. Yeah. And want to pass you on. Pass you on as if, as if you are second clothes. Yeah, you are not, you are not, you, are, you, are, you, are, you have sense, you have a future, you have a life. And these things must stop in Jesus' name. Because at the end of the day, while you're there, you push your hand in your pocket and you look, you say, wait. But, I thought I have more than this. But you know, if I did only take that from that man or that woman or... That person, you know, it, it, it would make up what I have, but sure, just let it go. Stop doing that. You hear me? Yeah. Stop doing that. No more working for... Listen to me. No more Mr. Working for good name. So true. No more of Mr. Working for a good name. Can't say the Holy Spirit is not warning you about that. Amen. No more Mr. Working for a good name. I'm not saying that you can't do it with your family, name it and what have you. But those out there that you know have it. You don't let people use you. You hear me? 
Because I rise up to tell you, if, if, if you are not in the midst, they have to pay big money to do whatever they want to be done. So true. Look into that. Look into what I am showing you. If they call a company to come in to fix their roof or to fix their window or to fix their door or to fix their cupboard or to fix their what washing machine, whatever it is, they have to pay. Amen. Two way they have to pay. They have to pay just for them to come and look at it and pay for the service to do it. Amen. And still they want to use you not even to give you the money to look at it or the, or the money to service it. They want to give you pittance as if you don't have any sense. Listen to me. Wise up. Amen. You are nobody fools. And I sure know if your mommy hear this, your mommy will say, yes, it's true. It's so true. I sure know your mommy will be in agreement. Yes, she will. She didn't birth you to, to, for these things to happen to you. She didn't bring you forth for, for people to use you. You understand me? Marco said to the candidate Shende, I'm praying for a brighter future for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Praying for a brighter future for you and your family. Marco I don't know but I don't know who I'm seeing if it's one of your sisters I'm seeing looking like somebody worried over some situation. Being worried over some situation. Marco said, Rabba Kotoria, you don't know everything. I'm going to pray for you. Amen. But I pr I'm, I'm praying for God to install. In, in, what is the word, my teacher? Install? Instill. 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 I'm praying for the Lord to instill wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in you. Marco said to the candidate Shende, You want to be, you are to be the type of father where whenever your son is in need, you can just jump in your car with him and take him shopping without have to have help from anyone. You're supposed to can do for yourself because God help you to get there. Amen. And even do for them as well. Birthday, whatever, name it. Amen. So true. Marco said to the Rabba Bushende. Rabba Kotoria Basondo. You know, one of the earliest things can happen. You do for somebody and they see you and pass you and barely want to talk to you. Hi. As if you don't exist. So true. You know that feelings, right? Yeah, true. You want, you're saying to yourself, what have I done to her? Or what have I done to him? I just do something for this man the other day and this man just see me and pass me as if I'm nothing. You know, when people do you that what is going on in their mind, their conscience is riding them and they're saying they don't want you to turn to them to beg them. Come on, talk to me. So true. They believe you're coming to beg them to ask them for something. So they make sure dry up with you because they don't need you right at that moment. So when they need you, they try to put on a little smile as if you are so important right there. Amen. So true. You have been there. I see it. So true. You have been there. You don't need that. You don't want that. What the craziness is happening there? 
You don't need that in your life. I'm going to pray for you. Amen. And I'm going to, I just want your pathway to be clear because I see, I want God to provide you the job. I want for God to provide you that job that you need to have. Marco said to the candy, come against Black Age so that you can able to get what you need to get if you are to go back to school or if you are to finish up school, whatever. It must happen in Jesus' name. I receive. Marco said to the candle about Because I see you, I, I, I don't know if I tell you that I see you doing, see you like an architect. Yes, yeah, he told me that from um, the last year. Marco said to the candle about there. But I'm going to pray for you know your, your pathway to be clear. Whatever. They have whatever they have spoken on your life where your mother is concerned with you and your sisters and whoever has spoken over you as a one son towards your mother I shall break it and send it back in Jesus name Amen. because you must flow you must flow you is your, you, you is your mother one son and you must able to flow she must able to be a happy mother to know that she, 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 you know, she didn't carry this belly pain for nothing. And whatever blockage they have spoken about over your life, I must break it and send it back to them and their children in Jesus' name. Amen, I receive. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Who is, I hear a name called to me. Who is Patsy? You know of a Patsy? Patsy. Um, I know. Couple people by that name. This Patsy I'm talking is somebody very close. Could be a family or family friend. Close. Um, the two persons I know, they are, we talk, so, they're the family friend, yeah. Marco is one of the Patsy I'm talking, and the person that I'm talking is a slim person, not fat. Yeah, no, um, a slim Patsy is a um, yeah, family friend. Marco said to Ricardo the Boshende. I just gonna pray for you because I want to see you come out as fine goal. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. You must come out as fine goal. Whoever think they tie your feet for you not to rise and able to gain what you are to gain in life. Because right now at your age. You're not too young. Listen to me. You are you are not too You are not too young to be collecting your thousands and your millions. Amen, I receive. You're not too young. I mean to be what you are to be in life and move forward. You're not too young. Let me ask you a question. Did you promise? Listen to me. This, listen to this. Listen to this very keenly. Did you promise any girl that you're not going to leave that leave her and you're not going to, you know, have your life without them in it and da 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 name it? You know, a, a girlfriend and a boyfriend will sit down and talk and say, you know, even though you know. I'm 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 in America or whatever da, 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 you know I'm not gonna leave you and I love you and I'm gonna this and I'm gonna that and you're gonna be my wife and da, 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 da. do you remember promising any girl like that? Yes. 
And you have broken the promise, right? Not really. Oh, you're not really broke the promise, but because you're the person still talking, but certain things don't come forth as yet, right? But you know the future plan that God have for your life. You have a girl in Jamaica? Yes. Hey. Lord Jesus. And this person that you have in Jamaica wants you to come down as often as ever, right? I mean, my son, mother. And you all are still together? Yes. Mm. And you find... <laughs> Lord Jesus, help me. Help me, Lord. Help me, Savior Divine. I don't want... Because, you know... Oh, Lord Jesus. Let me ask you a question. Do, did you believe... Did you believe the word that God spoken in your life last year? Are you there? I yes, I'm here. Do you believe the word that God spoke in your life last year? Yes. You know, the worst thing we can do in life, let me say this to you. The worst thing a person can do in life is make plan for the future when they don't know Make plan in the present for the future when you don't know what the future will bring. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Because, let me say this to you. Even though is your son mother, I'm just going to talk straight up. Even though it's your son, mother. Do you know that both of you are not compatible? Do you ever see that? Yes. Both of you are not compatible you know, because what happened between both of you is just something that, you know, it happened to both of you as, as two young people. There are 25 attendees in this conference. You understand what I'm saying to you? I didn't hear a while ago, you missed it Hold on. Jesus.